I want to do something with proportions. Well, now, when you've got an idea of you using the pen, is that there are certain proportions that are used in writing, and that is to do with how how this letter size compares with your the size of your pen itself. There's a definite ratio. But I want to sort of go a little sideways trip into what's called the golden ratio and the Fibonacci series. I can't remember if I touched on this last year, did I? Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series is an interesting, this whole golden ratio. Um, the Greeks loved this picture of the golden ratio where uh, something, a space could be divided I think what I'll do is I'll turn this off so I can use the... I don't need that now. A space could be divided into two parts, a larger part and a smaller part. You could have a space like that, and you could divide it, not in half, but so there was a big part, A smaller part, a larger part, and the whole. Or I could do it this way. A smaller part, a larger part, and the whole. I'll do it upside down. Smaller part, larger part, the whole. And what they said is the ratio, this was a thing, the ratio of this to this, the smaller to the larger, the same ratio as the larger to the whole. They said when that was right, that was what they called, that was perfection, that was golden. Golden was the thing there. And <clears throat> you say, well, how on earth do you find that? And so, and then you can find two interesting things with number is the process of adding and the process of multiplying, and they're quite different. And the Fibonacci series is a kind of way of approaching this golden ratio, because it works a bit like this. And I'm looking around for a duster. I'll do it over here. I'm just going to write some numbers up. One, one. When you look at that, you see these, all these things that the mind looks at that and it puzzles. I got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. What's, what's happening? What's happening? Well, you're adding the first two to make the third. I mean, one and one is two, one and two is three, two and three is five, three and five is eight. Brilliant. She's got it. Well done. You see that this, this process, that anywhere I take here, this is like, this is not actually smaller, it's the same, but they come to get to make the whole of two. Here, this was like if I said one and two and three. That would be a sort of, a bit like that, but it's not a golden ratio, but it's a first step towards it. Because if I said, what's the ratio, that's I'm talking now with these ones here, One is a half of two, but two's not a half of three. So it isn't quite working. You know, you need to sort of look to see that. And so if I was to say, now how, I'm just trying to think how I could put this. Um, it's like saying if I took that as a whole, I'd have to say that is one third, and that is two thirds, and that is three thirds. So that makes the whole. And it would be like saying, oh well, if I took um, the ratio between there is two, and then the next one would be, um, if I 
if I no, hang on, I'm just trying to think that um, which way is the best way to put it? Are we going downwards? Yes, I'll put it this way. If, you know, I can sort of also work downwards. So there's the hole. I make this a little bit smaller and this smaller again. So I said three thirds and then which is equal to one. I said one times two thirds gets that. But to get this one, really it would should be one times two thirds times two thirds again. Do you see what the see what the idea would be? I need to make this one ideally it would be two thirds of that. But is that true? What is two thirds of two thirds? You see this is where you this needs to be at least class four with you working with fractions. Two thirds of two thirds. Two thirds of two thirds is anyone know? Four ninths, isn't it? So this would be say that would be four ninths and two thirds. How many ninths is two thirds? Two thirds, two thirds out of nine, it would be six out of nine. So this would be six out of nine. If I add those together, that's ten ninths, which is equal to one and one ninth. It's, it's not quite right. It's one ninth over when I go that way. And so then I go say, right, well, let's move up this one, see if it gets any better. Let's try two, three, and five. I'll do it from this one. That will be five fifths, three fifths, and two fifths. Now, that is, that's equal to one. This is one times three fifths. What would this need to be is one times three fifths times three fifths again. If that was going to be a golden ratio, then that would be I need to move that one out of the way. What is three fifths times three fifths? Nine over twenty five. Sorry, this is I'm jumping, I'm expecting you to know all about fractions. And three fifths in terms of twenty five is 15 out of 25. And add those together, 9 and 15, what does that make? 24 equals 24 out of 25. And I'm going to write this in a different way, 1 minus 1 25th. This one was equal to one plus one ninth. Which is more accurate? See, this is a ninth over, this is a twenty-fifth under, and you see gradually as you go up the series, it gets nearer and nearer to the golden ratio. And these numbers here, particularly the one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, when you start looking at pine cones and things like that, it's very interesting that you can find the spirals in a pine cone, eight going one way and 13 going the other.